What's wrong, Genus? That's enough. What? The hell it is! You don't get to tell us when it's over. Or are you giving up? Because if you want to hand over the Dark Dragon, you can still walk away from this. Impossible. I don't possess the soul of the Dark Dragon. What? You just said you had it! No, wait. All he admitted was that he had one of the World Dragons. So maybe... Correct. I have the soul of the Sea Dragon. I found it in a different ruin. When I came for the soul of the Dark Dragon, it was already gone. Damn it! So you were just talking around us the entire time? Deceptive phrasing. I apologize. Why did you mislead us? I wanted to see Yuma's power with my own eyes. I wanted to see how he did what I could not. What do you mean? What's the connection between you and Yuma? The Shining Dragon. This man, Genus, was once the vessel for the Shining Dragon. His Radiance? Then... before, when you said someone destroyed a village. Indeed. The one responsible stands before you. <sighs> Yuma, I want to ask you something. What? How were you able to control the power of the Shining Dragon? How did you keep from losing yourself to the madness? Well, because I heard a song. A... song? Yeah, I heard all my friends singing. It was such a soothing melody. It was like they were calling out to me. I could hear all their thoughts through the music. That's how I remembered. I couldn't let myself hurt them. Or the people. I was so desperate to hold myself back. I told myself over and over I couldn't let them get hurt. I couldn't let them die. Thanks to that, I managed to calm the Shining Dragon's power. I see. So that's the key. A song. So the song really is the path to the truth. Genus? Yuma, I come to you with a warning. As the previous vessel of the Shining Dragon. As a man who has made terrible mistakes. You will be pulled into a war that has been raging since time immemorial. Time immemorial? Yes. And when the final hour of this war draws near, you will be the one to decide its outcome. Remember that. Farewell. Genus! Wait, Genus! He's gone. Who does that guy think he is? Just spouts a bunch of cryptic crap and then leaves? Brother, how did you know? About him and the Shining Dragon? I was told of them a long time ago. Who did you hear it from? From my master Elise, a wise sage. Your mother, Yuma. My mom? That's right. This is the story that Master Elise told me. When the Shining Dragon raged out of control, Master Elise felt a great surge of power and came to investigate. When she arrived at the source, she found the village completely decimated. Not a trace of life remained. Except for one lone boy. At the center of all the destruction, she found Genus standing there, locked in place. <sighs> I have taken the Shining Dragon's soul from you. He dwells within me now. You'll be all right. Who are you? I am a Dragoneer, one who wields an harmonic and communes with dragons. 
commune with dragons? You're saying you can control that power? No, I am not so capable. I imagine the Shining Dragon's power is far beyond the control of any mortal. But I'll still fight to suppress it. That is my duty. <clears throat> Why did it turn out like this? Is this really the only thing we could accomplish together? The Shining Dragon and I... Do we only bring tragedy? Maybe, maybe not. That's not a question I can answer for you. But if you keep searching, if you search for the true reason that you and the Shining Dragon came together, then maybe you will find an answer. You may find a reason beyond tragedy. After that, Master Elise left Genus there. But there was one thing she didn't account for. What do you mean? What didn't my mom account for? It was you, Yuma. Me? Yes. Though she did not know it at the time, Master Elise was already carrying you. And so, when she drew the soul from Genus, the Shining Dragon was not passed to her, but to you. I never knew. Master Elise didn't realize her mistake until after you were born. She was so desperate to transfer the soul back to herself, but she couldn't, no matter how she tried. By then, I believe your newborn soul had already merged with that of the dragon. You two had become one. Master Elise had no choice but to use that choker to suppress the Shining Dragon's power. So that was when she gave me this. Mom. Hmm. Something still doesn't add up. What? If Yuma's mom took the Shining Dragon's soul, and then Yuma got it, that means Genus doesn't have it anymore, right? So he's just a normal human now, isn't he? How is he so strong? I figured he had some mystic hidden power or something. I would not say he's a normal human. He still retains vestiges of the Shining Dragon's own power. Translation? All world dragons were initially born as abstractions, not physical beings. Their forms manifested by the will of nature. The world dragon's power arises from the ambient energies of the world gathering and condensing around their souls. Genus's soul was ultimately parted from that of the Shining Dragon, yet the converted draconic energies still lingered. That is likely the source of his incredible strength. Indeed, it would also explain why he barely seems to have aged. I see. But how did Genus get the Shining Dragon in the first place? I'm afraid I'm unclear on the details. But Genus' home village, the one he destroyed, was near some ancient ruins. It's likely these ruins contain the sanctum meant for the Shining Dragon, and its soul was slumbering there. Then at some point, Genus discovered the ruins and became the vessel for the Shining Dragon. Or so it was told to me. Hey, guys. What's up, Marion? Genus's past is interesting and all, but shouldn't we be following him? He still has the Sea Dragon's soul. I was thinking about that too, but I think it's safe as long as Genus has it. He took the trouble to warn Yuma of what was coming. I don't think he's our enemy. Well, I guess that takes care of the Sea Dragon. But we still kind of need the Dark Dragon. Where'd that one go? That's the question. Maybe it's... <laughs> Was that a roar?
that monster was from the Empire. Its very presence means a grim fate for the Dark Dragon's soul. Looks like the Empire took it. Crap. This is bad. Yeah. Oh, wait a second. Beatrice was in the desert. You don't think... You believe Beatrice took the Dragon Soul? I'm not sure, but she's got to know something. We don't have anywhere else to turn. It might be worth searching her out. Yeah, she was looking for something in the desert, wasn't she? She might still be there. Let's get back to that old ship! <laughs>